Hi crafty friends, welcome back. And thank you for supporting me and watching my videos and commenting. I really do appreciate it. It uh, keeps me motivated to keep crafting and sharing what I create with you. If there's anything you want to know or see, give me a shout out in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you. I've had some requests for things lately and I'm gonna be taking care of those as soon as I can. But today I'm going to share with you the 52 Tags Handmade. Um, I'm all caught up. I have to do the one that was shown on Friday, so I have until Friday to get caught up. But I'm just loving how this is looking with all the beautiful tags that I've made so far. So I want to share with you tag, I think it's 19. So this is 19, oh goodness, this is 19. And this was the, oh, let's look on the back and see, the Pekingese stitch. I have never done this stitch before. It's super easy, really beautiful, and so fun. And I just knew that I wanted to do a paisley when I knew that I saw the stitch that Anne asked us to do. So that's my Pekingese stitch. And then for last week or week 20 was a bullion stitch used as an edging. And so I just made mine real funky and different sizes. And I just love this. It's just so fun and so textural. Just used a piece of old lace on a piece of um, upholstery fabric and just did some French knots. So pretty basic, real easy, but so fun. Bullion knots are one of my favorite stitches along with French knots. I go crazy for those too and can just do them on every project multiple times and in different ways. And that's what I like about them because you can use them in so many different ways in projects. It's not just one way you can use these stitches. So those are my two latest tags the Pekingese stitch and the bullion stitch. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.